It looks like we're now live. Okay, now we're good. Boston University's got a Phoenix, Sova, Brim, Omen, and CypherCon. Yeah, this roster's is brand new, and they're hungry for a first win. Uh, careful now! Phoenix and Omen are going to be playing the A side along with Sova. They're probably going to leave the Cypher to prevent rotation and send over the Brim to assist. But it seems like it's going to be a pretty easy clean up 5 to 2. <laughs> Just a raise and a killjoy trying to push in, but the phoenix swings and misses. Sova's on the flank, coming through showers. It is, the red team is playing really slow, so it seems like they've got One to teleport from the other side. Oh. Just like that. Uh, okay, Boston Rissi picked up their first round. Out. Yeah. Strong start Make for the Terriers. Up. Okay. Throwing out a little emotes, knifing. Um, really strong picks to start out the round, getting a 5 2 advantage to nice and early makes it quite easy to clutch that one out, or close that out rather. So, they're going to keep the same setup, it appears. They're going to keep the Cypher at B along with the Brim backing them up. So, they're going to probably Silva arrow down long, or main. And Omen playing. Is Omen going to TP into the corner and showers potentially? Yeah, going to see if he can get an early pick off. But uh, vision from the formation from Stevens. Phoenix alt double pushing in showers is pretty going out. off meta a little bit, but they're gonna back out. Just trying to get quick right. pushes. There is a purchase coming up from the Omen. We're watching here. He got an early Spectre. It's actually a split push coming out from Stevens as well. Yeah, this, They've got three in main, one in showers, and one nearing Puka at mid. But they're really playing patient and not looking to push in early. Yeah, Phoenix can be super patient. Deciding not to take that engagement with the Omen to just kill time. Generally, okay. We see the Omen and Phoenix are about to face off here. He sends is it the flash coming in. It's gonna set him up in nice clean headshot. Now getting the numbers managed back over to Boston University. And looks like they're gonna be rotating over to B site, but there is a brim and a cipher waiting for them. Boston University knows quite yet. Now the brimstone does know and he's actually gonna pick up a kill on the enemy breach. Thirty seconds left. Strong start. Smokes down. One enemy remaining. remaining. Do, can you hear me, Joe? Or am I cutting out? Okay, I thought I was cutting out. Sorry. Oof. Cutting out a little bit here, but uh, um, yeah, this is a really ten hard seconds left. Three push. The Phoenix is gonna probably just end up saving. I would assume. Actually, it looks like he's pushing out. He has no way for him to get the bomb. One enemy remaining. At this point, but he will kill some econ on his way out. It's all in all, still. Round secured for Boston University. Important since they actually did spend a bit of econ to pick up some specters, so they're not quite rich. The, so the save came out from Steven, so they're gonna have three rifles a pistol, and a specter potentially. You're gonna is that a, not probably saving for an op on what appear to be the breach? Well, he's gonna stay at 5,500. On the other side here, yep. We got both the omen and the killjoy, rather. Sorry, saving what appears to be nope. Omen's gonna spend and Killjoy's also gonna spend. Just taking their time. And the same formation coming out once again from Boston University. Except this time the Omen's camping in Cubby rather than helping push in showers. Three in showers from Steven. Pushing in, but Falsia is going to get the first engage here. Get a quick pick, molly them off to slow down the push. It's gonna be smoked off by the Omen though. Alright. We see Omen for Boston University TPing on top of the tri box. Not, not tri box, sorry, just other box. Do you know what the color is for that box? I don't. Top of my head, to be honest. I'm not fully aware. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but this high ground position is going to give him a nice view onto A mid. So hopefully we can catch him. Stealing sight. He leaves really. Stevens isn't playing super slow on bind here. He really afraid to push in case he engages. Swing 
coming out from the omen, and he's gonna get one to trade it back by the kill joy. One and the the, cypher, uh, the brim picking up a nice kill. The cypher is even rotating over two. All in all, seems like it's gonna be another easy game for Boston University going off to an early 3 0 lead. 30 seconds left. It really feels like Stevens is gonna have to start taking a more aggressive approach if they're gonna to wanna to break this wall that Boston University's been putting up. He's in U Hall, which they are now wise to, so they can come to the corners and get free kills. Yep. Good crosshair placement, and they're gonna clean up the round. So. Oops. Overall solid mechanics from the side of Boston University. Lining up those headshots in, good call out communication. Off to a strong start. Nothing too crazy, just yes, play. This should go. The cypher's gonna Let's keep go doing here. this thing over here as no well. No more charges left. Oh, this is a nice spot. X marks the spot with these trip wires. That yeah, goes they there. haven't even attempted a hookah yes, or really teammate push, except for at the very end of the other round. Recently, they went for the late rotate, but it seems like they've just, and as I say that, it looks like they're going to be going for Fountain. Moving fast, too. They're going to get spotted out via sound by Grim. He's going to let in on the smokes, and the quick rotate for the moment. Uh. Picked off. But they trade one for one, and the Cypher is going to be cleaning up. Definitely, the site differs making it hard for the enemy team. One and I are banned. Uh, Quadra, he's going for the ace, but potentially. And he won't get it. Nah. Falsi will deny it from him. And the first attempt at a B push goes pretty horrible for the side of Stevens. A 4 0 lead on defense on binds. And Stevens not really showing any means of being able to break the current defense. Oh, this is a nice spot. Just winning the engagements, winning team to have better positioning, just generally better teamwork as well. We'll see what the plan is here. It looks like Stevens is lining up for a another slope push. Split, we got Omen and Phoenix going towards A site. Raise on Fountain, Killjoy in mid, and Breach seemingly nowhere. Already gonna win the ex first exchange on the map, Omen versus Omen. And now Boston University gets to reap the rewards and just sit back, relax, and play nice and slow. Um, Alright, they're gonna spot the raise from the cam, and once again, the Omen's gonna clean up another free kill. And this round is already looking quite doomed, but okay, the breach will clean up the Omen. Out of charges. And so now you're down to a 43. Area. You really gotta look for this, try to grab one of these sites. If you're Stevens, you'd know the Cypher's been playing B the entire game, and the Cypher will clean up the raise on the rotate, and they're gonna actually try to push in through Hookah. <laughs> the question is how long until Boston University is aware of this? Seemingly right <sighs> now. The rotate will come out from Def the Sova and the Phoenix. Brim's gonna play inside elbow. Playing nice and slow, waiting for this engage. 30 seconds left. He hears the plan to begin. Open Spike up planted. Yep. Little late on the Brim vaults. Maybe One enemy remaining. On the now. And Falsi is gonna come in and get a cleanup. Ah. One ah. enemy remaining. Oh, the trigger discipline. They didn't check their corners, but doesn't matter. The Brim will clean it up and they'll get off to a nice 5 0 lead. Bit of a concerning trend to not check those corners, but at least the 1v3 is enough to clutch it out. And the nice 5-0 lead. Really good attempt by Stevens though to crack, it. get in on the site, take out the cypher quickly, get off the quick plant. That's what they need to try to be doing more. That's the first plant they've actually gotten in five rounds on the side of defense. Or an attack or out of there, so. At least showing improvement, but generally not a good st start for them. We'll see how they position going into this round. It's going to be. Yeah, looks like they're gonna go for an A push. Probably gonna try to creep down sh showers again. Phoenix will be waiting there as always. Actually changing up their positioning a little bit. They're moving the Omen to play on B site and now the Brim is actually gonna be A. Potentially they're worried about a fast push over an A site and they're looking to grab the Molly. Scatter. Where's, where's Eve? You're only here for Eve? Eve is gonna be the sofa. Yep. Sending up the drone to scout a main here. 
doesn't seem to be grabbing any intel. Yep. Okay, so you started to push up Hookah, but now they're gonna rotate back over to A. Joke's over! You're dead! Alright, the Phoenix all went down. So he's going to over, Fortunately, nobody is here, and we know that. Gunner. Okay. Spike and that's gonna be here. the 3k coming out from Booby. One enemy remaining. Clean up, and that's gonna basically all but going secure up. the round for Boston University. Flawless. We know the Omen's the last person alive outside in showers, and yep, that's gonna be a flawless round. Super easy clean up. What are your thoughts on the match so far, Mr. Kwan? I mean, we're just seeing uh, the Terriers put on a really strong front. I mean, good communication, good rotates from as a whole from the entire team. So uh, let's see if the Terriers can keep up the pressure in the for the remaining of this half and the whole game. Uh, I agree. I think overall this is just going all according to plan. The only slight hiccup was almost losing the previous round before this one to poor revealing area awareness. Joke's but over. It You're now. dead. We're gonna go for the arrow down. A main. Okay. Enemy case will be holding up Puka. Cypher has it set up though. Yep. He'll survive, but be chunked heavily. One to one to start off the engage. Omen gets mowed down going for his One player abandoned. And actually, for the first time ever, we see a very advantageous position for Stevens, and they're going to be going up 4 1. It's up to Taken down. To take the site 1v4. The plant has not gone down yet though. One. He's in a really rough spot, and he'll be instantly headshot, peeking out of tube, and that'll be the first round over to Stevens Come here. for the game. Yeah, so, I mean, when you're when you're back to the corner like that at 6-0, you just have to try something really bold, and I think uh, Stevens made the right play to try for a rush strat catch Boston University off guard, and we'll see if they can continue this pressure, or how will the Terrors will respond to this. I agree. That's actually the first round where I feel we've actually seen I'll them, find them. Uh, uh, Stevens take gunfights and actually just straight up win them. It feels like every gunfight has gone They're to the side of Boston area. University. So it is nice to know that you've reached the point where you can aim, go mano a mano uh, with your opponents. Uh, but even then, you actually have uh, reach all on the side. Enemy the oh, there's another exchange that goes in favor of Stevens. Only killing off hiding in shadows. Here we go. Hunter's Fury, gonna clip him once, but not the second time or the third time. Okay, so Breach Alt is available and Lightning Attack coming out soon from the side of Stevens to try to take one of these sites. Um, Caught one. Cypher is no hard wide, feelings. except this corner. They found my wire. Should Cage be a triggered. kill for him. He knows, yep, and that'll Foolish. be a good cleanup. He knows. Omen is behind it potentially. Where and he'll win that exchange too. Cypher so really putting up a strong front here feet. on the B site, holding it down. Yep. Prepare and now they're going to have the neural link and they know everything. Teleport coming out from the Sova. He's gonna hear them leave, trigger the alarm bot, and mostly relax. Okay, so now that you see the rotate come out from A and unfortunately seconds for left. University, they're completely well, not oblivious, but they have no answer currently. Spike they're actually planted. going to retake you the site run. from their previous city advantage position. Early game uh, point for the site three is going to try to get the uh, uh, One kick coming out. One uh, player one remaining. One Killjoy ult. Uh, but the Killjoy ult actually will not be cancelled. Sova opting to hang back, and he's going to have to push in 1v2. It's a pretty... He does have two shock darts available to him, but he doesn't have an arrow. Check in the corners. He's gonna try to take close, but no cigar. And the next step, two rounds in a row going to the side of Stevens. Definitely a big mistake coming out there, not having someone lingering at the A site and giving them the free access, and therefore also forcing the retake. I don't. Was Breach Alt used in that fight? Are we able to press tab and see what uh, Breach Alt was used? Okay, I didn't even see it. But yeah, it, all, all alts are off on the map too, so this is going to be a pretty honest round, all things considered, likely. Phoenix Assault maybe comes up with with a 2k or even an orb, but generally, we're going to be seeing pr probably slow play come up from Stevens. They're 
lingering towards that B site, one in fountain, three in main, and just Deploying lurker drone. preventing a shove up. But Boston University has not pushed one this entire game, so I highly doubt that'll change anytime soon. Three in hookah and the uh, owl drone will reveal no it. Boston yet. University is the wiser, but they're actually opting to not rotate even though they saw three in hookah. They're holding strong at A, leaving it to the cipher and omen to Cage hold point. triggered. Here we go. Gonna see some engagement soon. I can't imagine Steven this engagement for location even much longer. Engagement's coming out. Oh, the cipher will follow immediately and so will the omen. And, and, and so will the Sova. That's gonna be it. three for zero. Spike planted. Stevens. One so enemy remaining. Flawless. Yep, and at this point, oh wow, a flawless coming out. Definitely feel the momentum shifting away. They're gonna grab an operator off of the enemy, off of Boston University side as well, so their econ's nice and high. They got momentum underneath them, and you have to really wonder if Boston University is gonna switch up their game plan at all. It does appear they are actually gonna send Sova over to B site. They might actually triple stack B site along with the Cypher. There's no way they're gonna send four to B, but it would actually it appears no 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 way no 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 way no way <laughs> <laughs> there was a chance that he's, he's going <laughs> he's thinking about it but steven's doing this a lot but they would leave the bomb further behind there they up. are sova is going to get hit by the brimstone but no actual push coming out from the side of steven's yet he's playing real slow they take control of shower in a garden all right, the breach flash will net a free kill on Omen, but through the flash, Cypher will clean it up on his side of things. And that's going to be an econ round. Uh, picking up a Phoenix, oh sorry, picking up a Phantom after starting with a Ghost is a huge upgrade for the Cypher as well. For four, we actually lose the Cypher off of our POV, so that's unfortunate. But it's 4v3, so nothing's too dire yet. It appears that the move has been made by Stevens on the A site. They are none the wiser to the fact that Phoenix is actually Spike here. Spike planted. It's gonna and ooh, <laughs> maybe he was the wiser, fortunately. And now it's gonna have to be a two v four retake for the Sova and the Brimstone. I don't think we know that Sova doesn't have all holds. I don't believe Brim has all either. It, he has a he has an arrow in ten seconds, but otherwise it's uh going to be relatively difficult. It seems like, what's the econ looking like for them? Is it worth saving here potentially? Like, yeah, they seem really poor. Generally, it's saving One LA Yeah, I mean, a a after oh, losing wow. three straight. We'll Out of here. Four straight now. Yeah, if, I, if, if I were food, I'd just be looking to save this, save this Vandal. 100%. At least you got some gold off of knuckles. Sorry, uh, some money off of them. Credits? Credits? Maybe. Yeah, credits. Credits. It's not league. <laughs> anyway, credits. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is not legal. Need equipment. Right. Okay. He's Thanks. gonna slide that vandal over to his sova. Actually, well, I'm assuming he's gonna opting to not buy stim packs. Feels a little weird from the uh, brimstone when he's sitting on 5900. Especially when they're coming in at 100 apiece, but. Mm. Shadows traveling. Uh, coming out mid for the open, and once Shadows again, another traveling. exchange not going in the way of Boston University. This is a really ballsy teleport, but he has the smokes down, so it's gonna be okay. All in all, another rough round start. Really needs to get a pick here to try to even these guys up. Killed. You know, the swing's coming. Will he see it? He does. And that's going to be a cleanup. Okay, four on four now. It, three of Stevens is on A site with the rays peeking up. The no. Probably going to take teleporter back. She will. No. On four here. The flash will take out Omen. And, and then, unfortunately, the gunfight will be lost by the Cypher. And now back to a 2v4 once again. So we'll retreat and wait for his teammate to arrive for the retake. Spike He's going to go planted. take the heaven position. Once again, no ultimate. It seems like area. it's always the Brim and the Silva here, trying to take back a site. Right here. Back to back rounds now. Um... Okay. One pick. Super. One enemy remaining. Uh, they can get one more. Uh, 
will, and they're both gonna fall. This all putting in a lot of work. They actually picked them off of last the round the before the half. Really they've had that off for the last three rounds. You really want to see Boston University halt this momentum here after losing five. Straight. Coming out of the gates, winning six straight, and then losing five straight is not gonna be good for your, your mental going into that second half. So getting that one that here round to give you a two lead would be amazing. You're gonna see a triple stack on A back to the Brim Cipher initial positioning they did. They're gonna play up actually a bit. Going for a bulldog purchase here. Can't afford Joke's it. Joke's over! You're dead! I am Smoke's down! Okay. I don't know if the whole stream's lag. Joke's or over! Lag, You're but it's dead! Very okay. Smoke's uh, down! Fire I have no what's happening. Okay, now I can sort it to see. Okay, it looks like Boston University lost their cipher though. Down four five. Spike Plank planted. Starting on the B site. There you go. Booby got traded back on the open. Smoke's down. I'm still Open up not the sky. Anything. Are you there, Mr. Fun? Yes, hello? One enemy remaining. Oh, sorry, I am. Discord is exploding. That is all right, but yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be me. we're gonna be tied up at the half here. Yeah, that's gonna be six, switching six. sides. Each team's taking six rounds straight. The most recent being towards Steven. Okay. I am going to reset my Discord, so I'll be back in the stream in like 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna see how Butarius decide to change it up this pistol round. I mean, both teams taking six straight. It's gonna be tough for the Terrors to make the right adjustments as as something is gonna be going on. Something has to change right now, as losing six straight will be take a quite a toll on the team. So we'll see how they respond in the second half. Knock him down! Remanding. The pistol round looks like it's going in the favor of Stevens, 4-1. to one. Yeah, Terra's really trying to stop it down. Amen, however, their their risk for going for an early plant seems to have gone against them, but we'll see how they can try to bring it back. It's up to the Silva 1v3. Check his he actually has, he has a recon arrow and two shock darts as well. Uh. That's probably, but unfortunately, he's going to get one tap by the Omen, and the round will indeed go over to Stevens once again. So, I think unfortunately, the comp from uh, Boston University is a bit more defense oriented as well, Turns with out. heroes such as Brim and Cypher being really, really, uh, still have their strengths on attack, of course, the trip setting up the back, but Brim, Brim's kit is traditionally, outside of the stim beacons, used much more defensively, so it is a bit trickier here, I'd say, but I also, oh, okay, Stain gonna get the wall bang on the Phoenix player, really good start, winning those early engages, and now Boston University has to pick their timing. Ah, uh, unfortunately, he's going to die to a Roomba on the other side of the map. We didn't quite get to see it. Um, back to 4v4, you have the Sova. Actually, the Omen's going to rotate back here. Three strong on A. Sova's going to push it solo into Hookah. Just, you got to wonder what the plan is moving forward here. Omen has two smokes as well. He gets a bullet on the raise. Uh, he's going to smoke off you as well, you haul. Yes, that is no you all. push coming in quite yet. And they're actually going to smoke and then rotate. They know that B site, mid is clear to B site because of the Sova. Okay. Revealing area. Oh. Getting a little peek over there. 30 seconds left. Great shot, Doctor. Not going to get any damage though. Forces right here. Outside. Spawn gotcha. though. Out of charges. 
He's pushing in on the site. Right here. Starting to plant. Not planting in two, but actually planting outside of it. Planted. Fight's still going towards the way of Boston University Suck getting gun, the cleanup. Here. Shock Dark is not going to actually catch the raised. Oh, wow. One enemy oh, remaining. Oh. <laughs> That's a Eagle spray down, and there we go. Boston University, after dropping seven straight rebounds, hitting themselves with the seven themselves, and doing it in good, fa in strong fashion as well. Getting early picks and then slowly pushing in, getting a good rotate off to catching Stevens off guard. Really good momentum swing overall. Yeah, this is the kind of play we need to see from the Terrors if they're going to be looking to take this game. I mean, they they were able to recognize that U-Haul uh, was not going to be the push. They just fully rotated onto B and made their correct picks, held the right angles. So let's see if they can execute further on this. Yeah. Really glad to see that. Hopefully, all right, here we go. An aggressive shower angle coming out from the Phoenix and the Brim. Uh, just a brim, apologies. It's, it's Omen and Brim. The box is being held here by Killjoy. Nothing crazy. Very spread out oh, man, approach from uh, Boston University. Almost going five wide. Three, one, one, one two. two. Two very specific. Definitely trusting their prowess in these 1v1 duels. Oh, I love the Guardian Purchase as well. It's one of my favorite guns, personally. H holding a tight angle. Looking for wall bangs. Not getting anything quite yet, though. Uh! Uh! That's a rough exchange. Not quite getting the kills where it's needed. Trigger. But still four on four right now. Oh, nice. There we go. Guardian kill. And the push from the site. Cover going out. Plant coming out. Spike planted. Holding U-Haul. I suppose we see... Stevens has one coming from A main, one from spawn, and one falling out of heaven. The one from heaven one is picked off, abandoned. pushing into U-Haul from spawn, also picked. The last one at A main. And he looks pretty doomed this moment he rounds this corner against Fubi. Holding a tight angle. And... <sighs> yeah. Oh, actually gets... Beaker's advantage gets two! One HP though, and he's gonna fall immediately. Yep. Good yeah. cleanup at Boston University, continuing their momentum from the previous round. Gabriel putting serious work on that Guardian last round. I believe he picked up two or three. I think one of the best guns to use if you're just shy of that 3900 range to get a Phantom slash Vandal plus armor, especially with all the price drops on it across all the patches, really strong weapon. One tap to the head from any range as well. So, it seems like there's going to be an aggressive B push coming out from Boston University, lining up on that Take side, flight. see if the execution's going to be there. Actually going to Owl Drone down A main as well to maybe throw off Stevens, but they're not budging, they're still three strong in E. No bullets actually going to land for either side on the little exchange over there near Fountain. Quick pushing, free fire, nothing found. One and two, which we Boston University now knows. This push seems relatively difficult, all things considered. There might be a rotate coming out, and there is indeed. Back already on a main. Revealing area. Yep. Here comes there the recon dart. Nice pick up by the cipher player on the raise. Yeah. The site is gonna be theirs as soon as they push on it. Yep. <laughs> Spike I, lo I love spraying mid round. Oh. You, you, you just gotta make sure yep. the, the, those Killjoy alarm marks for you. They'll really get you. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. All in all, it looks like another easy cleanup here from Boston University, four to one. There's almost no chance that this. Yeah, I don't even think the, the Omen's going to try. He's, yeah, he's, he's running away to the be. Hills, and it's gonna be nine to seven lead. Yeah, Steven's opting to buy rifles that round. I think that's probably in their best interest to save that Vandal. Yeah, they're at, uh, they, after their players even having zero credits going to the next round. Next round. It's defending against all rifles on bind with what's going like, to be stingers and deagles is going to be very difficult for the next round. But they will be doing their best. And Boston University really showing that they're actually dying to the bomb, surprisingly. 
big mistake, losing free guns there as well. Yeah, a little they, uh, they've interesting shown choice. That they're able to rotate very fluently. Oh yeah, the fluent rotations between sites has been really effective for them. They seem to always be able to get on the site they want, get the picks, and own the site once they get there. Similar to how Steven was able to do it towards the second half of last round. Alright. It's going to be an aggressive push out of... Oh my god, Fawzi was finished with the triple. <laughs> We're looking at excellent spray control yeah, coming out here from, from the Phoenix. Careful now. In the pros say all the time for the Valorant is an aggressive game, but maybe not that aggressive. Getting absolutely broke down in 1v3 in mid, and that's going to be... I guess that's one way to play an econ round. Play with nothing to lose. Falcio holds one the one to be four for the Phoenix. And he's gonna one tap. Yep, looking for the ace potentially. Let's and see if like this Killjoy will try. Going to back away. Nah, Killjoy doesn't want to give that ace. No, no way, Jose. She's out of there, and as expected, the econ round from Stevens will net a win for Boston University, going up ten to seven. Looking to close out this first map by five. <gasps> Let's see if the Phoenix can get the less get the ace on the kill drain U-Haul. Oh, opts to play it safe. Smart, <laughs> smart, smart play. Opting not to be greedy and just taking the teleporter out. To, uh... Oh yeah, the turret almost died to the turret even. Yeah, how do you stay there a that second longer? He would have been dead. Below, smart, smart right. play. Yeah, definitely like to see that come out from for sure. And now, okay, now is where things get a little trickier. After the save round from Stevens, they all have rifles again. So this is their chance to take back the momentum. I think this is going to be one of the most pivotal rounds in the second half right here. Yeah, we see the Killjoy opting to go for the op on this round. So we'll see how the terrorists respond. But they have not been producing enough very much this whole game. So we'll see how they will contest it. The defensive it. op on Bind is definitely a ballsy move. Or defensive op, sorry. It's not even, it's pretty strong, strong. Killjoy is going to be taking the Heaven on A side. And really hoping to get value out of it. If that first bullet misses, these, they actually spot out the Killjoy. But they're going to peek and still die anyway, even though he did see him on cam. Pretty big deal. You should oh, run. Trap pulls out a flash right in front, and yep. Now, one player remaining. Exactly what? Stevens needed not they are on their last leg in terms of money they get a clean round not likely not even to lose a single life here so they're gonna have all the money going into they're gonna get to build up econs so even if they drop around in the future they won't be completely screwed over and this is definitely gonna be a round they can come back to haunt Boston University in the next couple how, how's the money looking at Boston University side I assume pretty rich yeah, yeah. terriers still have a at that point, still have a nice comfortable bubble of money to sit on so they will be able to buy yeah. for the next probably two rounds but uh it's even showing that they still have life in this game and they're not ready to just sure. hand it over completely agree definitely hoping to see boston university get these last couple rounds they need we've seen that they they do seem to so when, when Stevens gets momentum underneath them, they take a lot of rounds in a row, as we saw in the yeah, first half. Yeah, Boston so University looking. To be concerned. They're going to be looking to stack A fully. So we'll see how they respond to this. They're playing drone. Lots of early pings, looking for the quick push here. They're going to spot the raise on the drone, but still not see the kill drone in the back. We'll see if the Sova ult finds anything. Joke's over! You're dead! So no Sova ult is landing so far. As you get that, and the Killjoy, not even just by aiming for Killjoy will Spike planted. <laughs> offer kill Phoenix all with Operator, and definitely a really good push coming out from Boston University getting the early plant, and now they just play in showers, play nice and slow. Target down. Lows, the widest swing from the Phoenix, Falcia picking up the flanker, and now we're in 2v3 scenario, Boston University doesn't actually have the bomb planted for showers either. Yeah, and they still down. need to figure out how they're going to handle that off too. The off in heaven. Bossy is going to find the pick on the killjoy. Oh, that's how you handle it. But... One player remaining. And now the breach trapped. 
Yep. <laughs> we'll die and, and we see, and we see the cleanup from Stain. Down. We'll go to Boston University. They're going to get the op out of their hand. Yep. That's all you need to see. Really strong showing. Now, getting close to that match point scenario. And is there going to be an op on this? Can they afford another op? Can we press tab and take a peek? I can't see. Yeah, oh, it looks like there's no going to be no op on the side of Stevens. Well. Mm -hmm. Losing that op is a huge loss for them. Making, pushing... A site a lot easier, but it looks like Boston University is going to keep them honest and look to push A, but the triple stack coming out from Stevens to counteract that. Actually going to three push into guard. Joke's over! You're oh, dead! Wow. Yep. Ah, I see. He's actually... Ooh. Yep, that's going to be a double for the Stevens omen, and that's going to spell disaster. Oh no. Even the Cypher's gonna fall as well, and this round is looking like all but wrapped up for Stevens as well. But that's not gonna stop Sova and Phoenix from trying to see what they can get here. But on paper, it is going to be a very difficult cleanup. Yep, and that's actually gonna be a flawless and not what you were hoping to see. The aggression coming out from Stevens is working a lot better this time than it did earlier when they tried to push out of Hookah. So it is nice to see that it sometimes does work out for them. But. 11 to 9, we got game 1 really close, coming down the wire a bit here. We see, let's take a look at the ult econ here, who has the ultimates on who? We got 3 ultimates on the side of Stevens, are gonna have this... Oh no, sorry, 3 on the side of Boston University, gonna have the Brim ult, the Cypher ult, and the Omen ult, and Ray's ult, Take flight. Each ult on the side of Stevens. Each ult gonna come in handy, especially for a retake scenario. Have we even seen a single raise ult this game? I feel like I haven't. I don't believe so either. Not on our screen, at least. Oh, well, there's our first yeah. one. Spike planted. Oh, there it is. She's holding it. And, yep. She can actually get killed without it. The plant's down. Cover so, going right, out. It's 3v, 2v2 scenario. On, the breach ult is still available, I believe. Yes, but indeed, the but, they're, but, but they lost the brimstone, which, which is what they really needed in this post-plant scenario. One enemy remaining. Mm -hmm. But it looks like it's yep. just going to be it's the breach left. Breach. It looks like Boston University is likely to clutch it out. Yep. And there you go. Really strong scenario. Are we Match winning? Point. We are indeed winning. We are indeed Mr. winning. <laughs> we are indeed winning. We're up 12-9. We got match point. We've at least guaranteed overtime in this first map of binds. Feeling quite strong about it. So Boston University looks like they're going to hover towards A site here. It's yeah. been definitely the easier site for them to take. A lot of success coming from A. Almost every approach on B outside of the econ round has failed. So Deploying drone. I think it's good, especially at this point when you have a few rounds to play with. It's not a bad idea at all to play the safe route. Recon drone gonna spot the Phoenix and the Rays. of this phoenix right. here takes a pick yep he takes a peek. phoenix in showers he knows around there and he's gonna lose the engage to the open but that bought plenty of time for the rest of the team oh, to yeah, swing please. onto the other site though reaching off to just the ult this into hookah breach, all is absolutely devastating but they're actually choosing not to push great ult but no Shut pushing down. means that it's gonna actually be for not basically Shut back down. to a 4v4 here as Boston University pushes into the B site with some shock darts, not I getting the what spike. they want, and actually choosing to rotate out. The Brim is hovering further back, though. Definitely it's trying to see if they can pick anyone going for teleporter, but he's going to rotate out to a fountain as well. And Boston University completely advancing completely back to the A site outside of Cypher. Yeah, Phoenix in. 30 seconds Phoenix left. Phoenix on the side of Steven, taking a passive crossfire, but it doesn't seem like Cypher's going to be opting to hop out of Hookah as most of the Terriers make their way over to A. Just trying to scare them into a rotate. I love how they like this Go. play. Testing the Shadows patience traveling. of Steven. 10 seconds Gonna left. Get the double cleanup on A. And this is looking but really dire for planted. Stevens. Plank gonna go down in a 4v2 scenario. I know exactly. Killjoy is far, very far away. Gonna have to take teleporter to get to the other side. Yes. 
Losing the br that's a huge loss for Boston University. Losing the brim all the time. Yep, take one the standing. Apologies for the Joke's delayed over. passing. You're dead. Very Discord's lagging once again for me. Uh, but in the cleanup coming out from Stain, and that is not will be map one die. going to Boston University. Yeah, what a great game from from both teams. Momentum swinging several times through in that round, but Terriers just found a better way to respond. Yep, a ton. I I completely agree. Tons of momentum swinging, but when push came to shove, Boston University. And here we are. Boston University will be on the offense first, and we're gonna see Stevens on defense. Bit of a switch up from last game. Here we go. Let's see if the operator swaps with it all. Actually, there is gonna be, I I, I did predict it correctly, wow. Um, actually going to be a swap from the Silva to the Jets for Haven come out. And, um, the side of Steven's actually going to bring in both a Sova of their own and a... Okay, that changed a lot actually on the side of Steven's. They got rid of the Rays and the uh, Breach, swapping in a Sova and a uh, 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 Jet. <laughs> Here we go, round one. One for one, initially Garage Warfare. And there we go, pops and one taps him there as well. Garage goes uh, Boston University. Gonna quickly get picked off. Wide swing. Gets the refrag. Three to two in favor of Boston University. And they own the C right site here. completely. One more potentially gonna scrap in garage again from the omen in the kill spike. Spike planted. Smoke's down. And we'll go in the favor of Stevens. Looks like Fubi wants to push. Gonna take a double push from spawn approach. Here comes the Phoenix Flash. Good turn away from Falcia. Excellent, and excellent last. shot from Falcia. The one tap and Fubi will get the cleanup, and round one will go to the attackers. Def tons of the name of the game was trading here. Every single kill felt like it got traded back one way or another from each team with the Boston University lingering that last person alive. All said and done. Yeah, excellent job being able to find those refrags. Those are super huge in a game like this and especially when the map is so spread out like haven mm -hmm. i agree uh, it's a, as much as i'm not a fan of haven personally when i play on it it really does give a lot of freedom to the attackers though really the ball is in their court to play the game how they want so many angles to attack from and tons of rotation rotations are super viable just opting to take this mid control though pushing up really fast Figuring they're gonna have the advantage because they bought Spectre. Yep. Gonna get the kill over here on the jet. But gonna lose the Phoenix on the other side. Four four four. four Spike planted. Right now. Good cleanup from the Cypher. They own the site. And now they can just <laughs> turtle wow. in and force the Phoenix to come to them. But Fubi gonna get mowed down from three different directions. Losing his gun. Definitely One enemy remaining. Come out. Oh wow. Cypher gonna grab two. Spraying into the smoke, almost getting the kill. And he's just going to save it would appear after getting chunked down below to 10 HP. The kill trade looking to catch the exits, however, it doesn't seem like any of the members of Boston University are gonna be headed that way as they evade the bomb explosion. It seems like Killjoy is going to just be saving. Yep. Similar setup to game. One where Boston University is taking a lot of these early rounds. We'll see if they can get all the way back up to six once again. But for now, kick, taking the 2 0 via round one, grabbing garage, round two, grabbing mid control. And looks like they're going right back to mid control. A site being completely ignored for now. I'm sure it'll come into play in a little bit though. Yep, Killjoy is setting up there as well. And Killjoy is the hardest angle to attack on this map for sure. If you can go to the, if you can predict where the sentinel is and not and play around it, it'll be to make your life a lot easier. All in all. Oh, wow, An aggressive fight in the mid lane, <laughs> in the middle of the map rather. Gonna be no. for one. Super aggressive pushing for Boston University, but gonna get one tap by the Vandal, and now they're down three to four. It looks like they're not giving up on the push though. Run. They have all, all three strong. 
Killjoy ult's gonna come out. Well, I think this is the sign for Boston Debris to, be to rotate. Time yeah. Give up this ever been a time. Hundred percent. Yeah. This is, if giving up's ever been an option, it's right now. <laughs> gonna take this as a chance. I am currently a little okay. I'm back from lagging. Amazing. Uh, yep. Just holding this this green. Gonna potentially look to push into garage, which could prove to be a bit dangerous, all said and done. Especially without smokes available immediately. Gonna opt to put the one-way smoke. Pretty dangerous to push into a one-way smoke. Probably gonna opt to not do it, I have it assume. Yeah, 30 seconds left for the Terrors. 30 looks seconds like left. is going to Smoke make down. his way onto a site. Finding a pick onto A. Nice, they get the pick. We'll see if they can get Huge. this plant down Killing before the, the members of Stevens can rotate. Yep, the plant will 100% go down. Spike planted. Yep, and that's even better. Falcia is going to get the one and player remaining. Well, because he's lurking. And two. And now it's up to the enemy jet to clutch this 1v3 versus Boston University. A round that looked like very favorable for Stevens turned around in the blink of an eye with an early pick into a catching some rotations. But Jet is looking for the ace. She's got the 3k for the round. Playing really slow. He's going to back Boston out of heaven. Spawn. Sniper will win the engage, and that's going to be 3 0 for Boston University on Haven. Excellent play from the Cypher and the Jet that round. Finding the. With the Cypher finding early picks and the Jet finding. Getting those rotation picks, allowing Stevens to not be able to fully respond to their plant on A. I would agree. And this is. And once again, Boston University's name of the game is just going to be mid control. They're looking like they're going to go immediately try to take it once again. Wow, shotguns coming out from the side of uh, Stevens. Three shotguns and two classics. Okay, now swapping over for uh, down. Vector and uh, Sheriff last second. Pushing into the site could prove to be dangerous though against these shotguns. They're all right, using rifles on the side of Boston Got University. Spotted. Careful now. Oh, oh no. Bit of a mistake coming out from the Phoenix. With it's his molly. But it doesn't look like it's gonna hurt anyone in this team, luckily. And the push in is gonna be coming right here. Cover going now. Close engage is happening here. And there we go. The two people are coming from the university. They hold the B site. Shotguns showing their potency. One enemy remaining. Yep, I'll see how it cleans them up once it can. <laughs> Looking and for a, a 3K with a, here. With a plant onto C, let's planted. see if he can respond to... Kind of taking a page out of Boston University's own playbook here and actually getting the 2K on, on rotate with a lurk, but it's still going to be a very hard journey for the Phoenix. Last thing with a stinger, he might be able to grab a rifle here. as he walks through the B site here, but generally... I don't think he's even going to try. It looks like he's giving up, running away from the bomb. Unless he doesn't know where the plant is, but I'm pretty sure he does. So, I'm going to yeah. save here. That's just fine. Going in Boston University, is going to go up 4-0. Excellent job by Fubi getting the plant down on C when most of the members of both teams were uh, fighting in B, as you can see by the X's on the minimap. It looks like Phoenix is just going to be looking to pick up a rifle so they can ensure that they're able to full buy next round. looking to take round five and once again sticking to the until Steven proves they can kill they're just gonna look to grab mid control here and continue to move forward cover going out get out of my way shadows traveling uh, kill coming out from the jet onto the cypher pick though and Kind of finally having the resources to stop Boston University in their tracks with the same consistent game plan. Been a bit poor up to this point, but definitely showing that they're able to fight back once they have those credits underneath them. Sova's gonna send his owl drone down. C Joke's Long's over! Spot out You're dead! Only seeing Omen though. Phoenix gonna Smoke's use 
Get back down. See long. Get a spot. Tight in the corner there. Not no kills traded between the two of them. Right but here. Gonna try. And there we go. One for one. Four to three. And up. Oh, they're gonna lose another one. Oh, didn't play it. Keeps moving out. One last enemy player remaining. Standing. He's on the site, but they got to win these engages. Uh. He needs to grab one, but he's going to need to grab more than just one. He's 1v2 now. He's spotted. One enemy remaining. He's going to have to play aggressive. Yep. He's got to pick his fights. Excellent he check on one. the killjoy with the op. One on one. Careful now. Going up. He's going to wall it up. Grab Close that fight. bomb and go look for the plan. But they sooner rather than later. See if he gets it down before the enemy finish keeps. Alright, he got the plant down now. And uh doesn't quite know where it's coming from, unfortunately. And we'll get killed in the peak. We good. We good. Yep. Big on the side of Steam is being being able to recover. Being able to recover that op for their uh ready to be able to use. Yeah. That's huge. I think the Jets actually been using it this game, right? Oh yes. Yeah, so sorry, the Jet. I the the, the play the the Kill J player. Yeah, it, it was Ward in the side of Stevens. They were Kill J last round. And we've actually it's now gonna be off the off as well. Looking down C Long, but this is the first time Dawson University is gonna rush C Long since the pistol round. Actually, they haven't gone C Long yet. Right off the gates, they're gonna have the ops peek it. Nothing there. Only Omen on the C site actually. He's gonna peek right now. Nope, he started to then stops. He's gonna flash the whole C long. Now, two kills gained in green. Smoke's down. The, uh, Odin Jokes is over. Yep. You're dead. Cleaning back up the body. Man in the corner though. Oh. On the site, they should get the plant down. Phoenix can be ultimate from CT, but he's alone. And he actually gets the kill though. It's a 2v4 without a bomb plan even down. All the pressures on Boston University to make something happen here. Here comes the recon dart. It's gonna spot nobody. Blocking sight. Might be actually spot the jet. Didn't get to see. Probably did though. Really tough scenario. Still don't have the bomb. Haven't been able to recover it yet. Locking sight. Really? Yep. Gonna smoke off garage. Prepare for hellfire. 30 seconds off. left. Excellent usage yeah. of that Brimble to get the jet out of position for them to grab the bomb. One player abandoned. Oh, and there. Good execution by Stevens using the Soval to prevent the plant and then pushing in during the chaos to get the cleanup kills. Stay safe. So, Boston University hovering more towards the A side of things now. Actually, looks like they're gonna do a split push between mid and A, not at all. No, they're they're, they're committed. They're committed. Yep, they're pushing in two through short, two through long. The Brim is gonna join his two teammates along, and they're they're going in. The rotating, fast rotating, one enemy remaining. Two for one. And it, oh, as the dust clears, it is going to be a quick victory for the defenders here, going up, trying to bring this game to a tie as soon as possible. So that's the first time we've seen a really re like strong, aggressive approach from Boston University. And sadly, it does fall flat, but I do like that their willingness to go for this type of play. Yeah, I agree. There's no better way to stop a large swing of momentum than to just stack a site and try to catch the team off guard. But it seems like they failed in their execution. Just all that killjoy utility made it so hard to put Boston University to push. Bubble C. Joke's over! You're dead! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Got 
distracted by a text. One for one coming out initially, Boston University with the dual push through Garage and C Long. Trying to win this exchange. Really strong. Almost a good shot. Ooh, the wall. Excellent wall day. On the shot, darting Silva to give advantage. Yep. You should run. Yes, sir. So Smoke's she's down. Kicking in. They now own the seaside. Dude. Ally Killjoy. That, 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 uh, unlike what it says, that is not an ally Killjoy. She's going to get the plant down. I love this line. Yeah, yeah, I forgot we're watching the one respect. Enemy remains. Yeah, and, but Side. Ruby was able to get out of that killjoy in the last second. Prevent. They're gonna kill the flankers. Oh, flankers. Mm -hmm. This round's all but a sealed boss university. They have a, the plant for uh, C long and they're able to just hold from a distance and relax. Yep, killjoy is not even gonna try. Nearly an impossible task given the circumstances. Uh, press tab, is there any chance that she got the off on the way out? It didn't seem like she picked up that off. Nope, has the phantom, but they're gonna have plenty of money. Unless it's in the back. <sighs> she went to one of her teammates, but ooh, gets the, the exit frag though. Yep, and she does get the op actually. At the end there, so they save the op. They lose the round, but keep the econ high, get some e exit frags. For how rough it looked initially, not a bad end scenario. And right now, Boston University has. Still a pretty solid lead. Definitely nothing to get cozy on, especially on ha Haven of all maps. Attack can be quite snowbally, so getting as much of a lead as possible going into the half is going to be optimal. I think aiming for like an 8 4 split would be really solid for them here. Smoke's down! Okay, we're gonna find an early pick in the garage. Let's see if they, if they can bring this pick further. We're gonna miss the shot on the op, and Gibbs gonna capitalize that entirely. Yep. Huge. Uh, definitely not where he was aiming with that elevator. One but that's remaining. okay. They're gonna own C side. Uh, 3v1 once again. Killjoy gets the kill on the site for it. That's gonna be 2v1. A lot more doable for her now that she got that kill, but taking a really long route over there. They have the trip as a defense. Spike planted. Uh, so they're gonna know exactly where she's actually not even trying. Okay, now she's trying. Gonna. Boston University, a little Just indecisive at first next. on uh, where to plant, uh, but they're gonna catch yeah. this killer coming down C long. Stain already sees her. So it'll be a matter of trying to see how these gunfights will pan out. Don't like. Yeah, I would not peek this Killjoy ever. I would just literally sit back, let her make the... Yeah, she's not even trying, it would appear. Yes, yeah, I need two saves. Not even willing to go for the kills here. Or try to fight it. Does she grab the op once again? Out of curiosity? Nope. Doesn't seem like she has it yet. It's gonna be interesting to see what's no going challenges. on in the comms on the side of Stevens. What are they thinking? They're planning to execute as they have a three-match, three-round deficit. So 6-3 lead here for the side of Boston University. Gonna quickly get a nice kill in the dart. Uh-oh. Sting caught out with uh with his knife. Yeah. But his teammates are gonna come to back him up, forcing the enemy Phoenix to rotate. Hoobie with an early pick. Ruby gets the pick I know on exactly. the sofa and they're pushing in that. It's not all gonna be a neural link as well. They're gonna know everything they need to know. They know they got two on site and two rotations. They know that Jet's there with an opposite see if Kessler She's trying to peek him, but Omen him with a with a oh. flank. Gets two, but cleaned up. Jokes five. over. You're dead. Uh -oh. One LA yeah, oh, yeah. oh, well caught with this knife out. Yep. Looks like a really promising round for Boston University will end in defeat, unfortunately. Getting a little too overzealous with the rotates.
Okay. So, Boston University going for what's going to look like a split approach once again. I will be their nightmare. Going to leave bomb over. Actually, not even a split. Looks like Phoenix is going to go on a solo mission over at C while the rest of the team does their thing at A. Actually, quite a wide open A here, too. Not that Boston University knows this, but up the pop kill coming out on the Cypher. Not a good look at all. Booby fighting down long. Oh. And that's going to be two picks down, and we are looking at foot. Looks like. At this point, Stevens is probably expecting a rotate, but instead Boston University is lurking on the A side, looking for those picks, but gonna lose another fight, even reveal that the bomb is still there. Cleanup kill coming from the Phoenix, though, getting the refrag. Surprised to see... Like they're not done yet. yet. Surprised to see Boston University is still committing to this A push, and not opting to go for another site. But Stevens is playing appropriately, keeping members other team on each site, not willing to fully succumb to this mm -hmm. A push. Oh, not the best crosshair placement coming out from Falcia, and unfortunately, well, he does check his corner, aims a little high, and is not going to get that kill. 30 seconds Leaving left. His Phoenix, the 1v4 here with the spike, not going to be an easy uh. angle for him. Good headshot coming out, though. Has ultimate as well, can use that to heal if he Careful wants. Now. He's going to instead heal with his E, pick up an, a Phantom instead of his Vandal, and look to push onto the site. Good flash prevention. 10 seconds left. One, good dodging, but not going to be enough. Still getting the 3k though, getting a lot of econ, and it looks like this could be a replay last, last round in the half. half. Six and six. Yeah, looking at the looking at the amount of credits on each side, both sides are, look like they are going to be able to uh, purchase rifles in some sort. Boston University a little starved for credits, having lost two two rounds in a row. So we'll see if they can make work done with the pull jog and SMGs with the enemy team with having full rifles. Yep, it's gonna be a tough road for sure. I would like to see a really aggressive approach come out about the university on this with these Get out of my way. inventory. And looks like they might take that. They're pushing up pretty up aggressively on no the more C charges site. Left. Gonna spot Sova pushing into their own Joke's smoke. Over. And they You're actually they don't know it, but they actually completely own C right now. Gabriel Get will out be of my caught way. out over on the A site though, lurking. Yeah, they this has got to be an early plant from plant Boston plant University out. to force students into a, into a uh, Unfortunately, the Silva does have those lineups and will pick off. Not even the planter, though. Just oh, pushing in. No way! Good kill, good dash. Here comes Silva. Oh, wow. Wow, that's Silva new. Out, yeah. yeah. Not caught off guard at all. Brim gonna be waiting to hear that stick, play, stick noise, and yep, seems effectively baits out the brimstone ult. However, will it have enough time to retake? Let's see if Stake could buy enough time. Yep. It does not. The molly does not appear to be good, unfortunately. Basically, shots a little bit off mark as seems is able to get the stick. Had he aimed just a little bit more to the right, he would have been able to pick off the person sticking. Possibly even before the half. I think the bigger point there was that the molly did not land on the bomb, sadly. That, uh, was, that molly, if it lands on the bomb, is going to buy a ton of time, and then the bullets can be a bit more of a topic, but the molly actually missing the bomb, so the defuse goes on through it. Excellent Sova ult coming out from the side of Stevens, being able to catch Falsia after he rotated onto the box, predicting that he would be there. Very impressive, grabbing the updrafts. Might have actually caught in it on Vision because I think the first one right. he was updrafting, so it gave him the uh, red outline. But either way, still a really good aim. That killing off the jet there, especially when she's got her knives, huge pickup and inevitably will make taking that side Cover going out. easier. Yep, easy pickup here. Boston University has been exceptional on these pistol rounds across the past... I think they have won. No, they dropped one. They dropped the second half last time, but they're two one in them. Even that one being close. Currently four four on the map. They've got a good even spread. The jet here's what's going on here. Gonna look for the pick. Gonna get picked off herself though. And Spike Gabriel planted. owns heaven. You have the Phoenix pushing it through CT, and the Brim is really far on the rotate. The Phoenix gonna opt to wait for his teammates to get a bit closer. 
and now gonna start pushing in now that they're here. Cover going out. Blinding. One enemy remaining. against the world, but the world is going to win. And I jinxed Boston University on the pistol round, sadly, as they are going to be able to... Stevens will clean that up. And we are truly getting a repeat of last game, exact score we were at at this point. So we'll see where it goes from here. Let's see, Stevens seems a bit more fan, a fan of the A site, but actually looking mid here. The Sentinel setup is going to be on C, but it seems that the Cypher doesn't have a lot to work with in terms of money. No trips, potentially? Here Stevens opting to, to go for two, force two rifles on the, uh, in the second, second round. round. Huh. They're really looking yeah, they to pick up this momentum this swing. This camera is going to spot out the Silva and the Jet on C site. So they do know. Armed with just a ghost, he is against the camera world taken out. Camera will fall, but... Their plan, initial plan, is going to be foiled. Stevens looking to rotate what's, what, what seems to be A site with maybe one going into that mid window. Mm -hmm. All in and all. But Falsy is ready for the rotate up. <laughs> unfortunately, does not find anyone. You hate to see that. You know, it's good setup, but unfortunately, Stevens seems ready for it. And now they. Trying to take back this site from Stevens when they force two Fire rifles planted. out. It's a borderline impossible task. Who are we going to be able to find one? Yeah, one kill. Yep. Looking for these headshots, but unfortunately Gabriel will fall as one well. One enemy remaining. Completely outgunned. Gonna get a headshot. Uh. Okay. Beast. The Phoenix is trying though. Stain really doing what he can here. It does not seem like he's going to go any further though. Oops. And he won't be getting any exit frags since the enemy team happens to know exactly where he is. But yeah, I, I think I think that's the right play. Here, e even agree. being able to save that ghost will help out their econ in the long run. They they have yet to pick up a round in the second half, so they really need to make use of all the credits they have. No charges left. Yep, and you gotta see so Boston University's current plans. Have not been going well, but they've been a bit. Guns have been rough. We're gonna see some rifles come off from them here. Let's see what their setup's gonna be again. It looks like they are gonna keep sending the cipher to hold C. They're gonna keep the jet at A. Phoenix playing B link. Uh, B, not B link. Sorry, what is it called? It's B. Uh, Who? Oh, Phoenix? Connector. B connector. B connector. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. Oof. Yeah, B's actually gonna play middle B though. Aggressive approach, and they're gonna instantly pop on the C site one after the other. And once again, Steven's gonna completely own this C site. And unfortunately, it's gonna be a tough take. They're gonna be up against Spike both planted. Killjoy setup and an operator now from this jet on round three. But they do get a quick pick to start off. Definitely what they're gonna need to start getting things going. Slow push in here. The Phoenix a bit behind the pack, but he's coming in when he can. This I, it looks like they're just opting to save. At this point, if they're not pushing in, it's nearly impossible. Trying to push in against Killjoy setup here is going to be an extremely daunting task. So I don't actually hate the call to just call it around, especially when you've been so you're so poor as a team. I mean, look look at the bottom right there. Zero credits on Falcy if he happens to die holding this uh, vandal. Fubi, though, twice this game, this series now, he dies to a bomb and exiting. Pretty floppy, especially when you specifically didn't go in for Econ. But, moving on, on here, let's see if the setup is any different. It does not appear to be, still once again, you're gonna have the Brim and Garage, Cypher on C. Moving the open, Omen mid actually, the last round they had the Omen 
double aggressively push along with Cypher, so slightly mixing up what they're doing, but generally keeping things about the same. Gonna smoke off mid to prevent any operators. The op is watching too long though, but the Cypher is not peeking. Fortunately, for that. Uh, gonna get wall banged though by Sova. Pretty tragic for the Brimstone here. Gonna pop up the camera to see what. Yep, instantly opt. He now knows that the operator is on C site. We know Garage is compromised as well potentially after getting wall banged. But Boston University is holding steady here. The Omen is potentially looking to roam around, but otherwise holding their positions. Yeah, Steven's Quite opting. Poor, unfortunately. Steven's opting not to push in uh, super hard after finding an early pick. So Boston University is just gonna hang in there and continue to hold their angles. Yep. Yep. Spotted here, and unfortunately, he's one before trying to get he can. And he'll get a few bullets, straight bullets here and there, but unfortunately not going to do a whole lot. And once again, Boston Spike University, planted. their poor struggles continue. Huh. Scouts down. Unfortunately, yep, One enemy is remaining. not quite ready for the flank uh. green. And once again, the C site has been disastrous for Boston University. And Stevens comes in, gets the easy picks initially, owns the site, and it's just proving too difficult to retake. You really do want to see Boston University try to stop this bleeding as soon as possible. They've lost, I believe, eight, uh, seven rounds straight now? Yeah, I, I think that sounds about right. <laughs> I haven't even... Let's just have to take a little peek. It is going to indeed be seven rounds straight. Really does feel ex very, extremely similar to last game. Falcia finally able to afford his own op. But once again, opting down A, and Stevens has been pretty consistent playing this C site. But no might get an omen pick run. here. Yes, he's unfortunately going to miss a shot on the omen. And, ooh. Uh, on the other Omen, he's gonna get picked off by Sova, as well as Cypher getting you should run. Killjoy. Okay, here comes the Killjoy all Alarm bot set up in Garage 2, and rightfully, wisely, the Phoenix is gonna opt to just walk away from this one. Good pickup from Fubi onto the Phoenix. The plant hasn't actually gone down yet, it's just gonna complete now, so... The Killjoy all didn't actually zone Careful any time now. off of the plant, which feels pretty good. Well, it made, it made them unable to take an angle in the back of B site to push on to C as they got the that plant True. down off the C. It just will definitely make the retake easier and evening up the numbers completely. And this this op will do wonders for picking off the people holding C long. Smoke coming down here. Let's see if Falsia sees the Omen playing back site. Doesn't seem like he does. No. He's trying to stick it. One player remaining. Ah, uh, stick doesn't quite work out. The dart will reveal him, and that'll be his life. Boston University dropping eight straight here on the defense side of the pavement, and this is why earlier I, I was hoping that they would go for an eight-four split because it can get once you start getting snowballed on on Haven, it feels really hard to stem the bleeding. The question is, if you're Boston University, what is your plan? Because it seems like what has been going on currently is not working. Still opting to only have one person hold this C site. Revealing area. Immediately getting the camera taken out and putting up the cage early. Joke's uh, over! You're dead! <sighs> Gonna lose the fight against Phoenix Alti. If two fights against Phoenix Alti. <laughs> Falcia trying to spray down with the judge, but getting barely any damage at all. This just looks depressing at this point. Open up the sky! Not sure why. One enemy not remaining. Not to use Brimalt there. Probably worth saving it next round. As this round is pretty much voided. But, I'm gonna use it, see what he can do. Doesn't really get much, unfortunately. And match also, point! It's on match point here. In game 2 on Haven. Do we know what map is lined up for game three? If this yeah, game ends? three, game three is going to be ascent, so they're probably going to be looking okay. to uh, talking about moving on to ascent after uh, after this next yeah. round. 
Yes, it would definitely seem that we are going to be looking at a game three, barring a miraculous comeback from the side of Boston University. Joke's over! You're dead! Belsia, though, on the Guardian. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Getting an early pick onto the Killjoy and setting their team up for a good round. Phoenix filming to spot each other outside of that mid area. Careful now! Just trying to slow the approach. Play it nice and slow. Oh, I'm gonna teleport behind the box, but Stain is able to pick up the kill. Going up! No hard feet. One enemy remaining. That's where finding two on the Guardian. <laughs> Guardian purchase is feeling really nice for Boston University here. Now it's up to the Sova. And there we go. The cleanup round from Boston University, halting a bit of the momentum. Whether or not you end up clutching out this game, I think getting these round wins in is a really solid. It's going to be strong for your mental going into the next game. Agree with their backs against the wall. They still managed to find one round, and we'll see how long they can keep this up. Mm -hmm. The pressure is on the side of Stevens to clutch this one out at this point. Or finish this one out, rather. So, we'll see. Similar setups we've been seeing. Actually, I, I say that, but it's not true at all. We actually have the Cypher playing a site for the first time the entire game, I believe, and we've put the opping Jet. I'm assuming Jet has an op. Does she? She does. Yeah. In mid. No way! Good stuff. Getting oh, get out of my way! Eight is end up going two for two in the end, though. A little sloppy, <laughs> but still have the sights on lock here. Rotate coming out potentially. Actually, yeah, Omening ulting over to C for the quick plant. <sighs> Gonna be a rough planted. retake here, but the quicker the better. Knives coming out from Falsia. Looking to push in. Tight angles. Gonna get nearsighted. His Boston University is still waiting on Phoenix to get in the area. Boom. Excellent pick with the knives. He's had success with that all day. Ooh. Uh, pros don't fake, but unfortunately, maybe they should. Uh, One enemy remaining. remaining. He doesn't even get the half. Did you try being, being so fixated on the stick and. Yeah. Trying not to worry too much about the enemy, enemy players. However, they are going to be able to find the picks on them with Silva using that shock, sonic sonar arrow. And that's going to be game two. Boston University opting to stick with the same comp that they had in game one on Bind, except this time with Stain and Falsia swapping roles on Phoenix and Silver, respectively. We'll see what they can get done in the pistol round with Falsia opting to buy the Frenzy round one. Uh, careful now. No charges left. Also finding two with the Frenzy, being able to assert their dominance over B, as Stevens is looking to rotate with Breach coming in through the garage and Omen following suit coming from mid. Revealing area. Breach is going to be looking to peek through that garage, however Falsia is able to get out of time, not get caught in that tremor. Planted. One enemy remaining. 
Just like that, Pulse is able to find a third with that Frenzy, just leaving Breach left. And Fubi is able to pick up the last pick. Excellent job by BU. Taking it slow, making your way through the point. Not, the not going in recklessly, taking any unnecessary fights. Being very patient, and they're able to pick up this first round. is going to opt for the same formation that they had in the previous round. He can use looking to see if anyone decides to peek through mid, as well as stacking two there, trying to serve dominance, but Prince makes the early call that they're pushing through A. Smoke's down. See ya. Excellent pick with the ghost. That's two for Fubi with the ghost. Excellent right. headshots. As Stevens is forced Holding to slow down, down now. Eight site. Smoke's down. Welcome back, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit of a disappearing act there, but I'm back. Looks like Boston University is going to clean up here. And it's going to be a relatively easy round. Being three kills, keeping all their econ weapons alive. Here we go. Need Boston University showing their strength in these pistol rounds and early rounds after. We'll see if they can keep mm -hmm. keep it up as they are on track to come to another early lead. Standard here running Cypher Sova on B site, get that arrow information in B main, leaving the omen mid. What is the omen rocking as a weapon, by the way? Just a rifle, I assume. Yep. Oh, a guardian, actually. Revealing area. Gabe has shown earlier in this series that he is confident on that weapon, so. Mm -hmm. 100%. Definitely. Been liking what I've seen. Every time we've watched Boston University by Guardian, it's had really positive results. Yep, a little bit of bullets fired over here in the midland. Nothing really notable coming from it. Gabriel unable to find a shot. Nope. However, Sting will get the kill for him. Excellent arrow really? from the side of Steel. Yep. Shock arrow. Shock dart, rather. We'll clean it up. Numbers advantage on the side of Stevens. It's going to be 2v3 for Boston University. But there's a possible cleanup coming here. There we go. One enemy remaining. Okay. So, it's going to be up to Falcia to retake the A site from... But unfortunately, he is going to be retaking the A site from a killjoy of all things. So it's going to be a planted. relatively difficult task. She's going to set up grenades. Yep, here they come. She's going to go hide under. She's going to take a hell approach, actually. Interesting. I see. I feel like most killjoys, when they get this position, they actually opt for the. Uh, to play in wide. Because it's a lot harder to take. Now we're going to spot the locations of out. both of them. Yep. Yep. Oh, wow. Didn't reload this quick, but. Revealing area. And that's going to give Falsy the information he needs to see if he's able to execute on said information. He's going to have to kill this kill oh. yep. Wow, really taking his time. Oh. Yeah. Failing to get the wall bang because not having enough money and Wardell's little brother will get the round. <laughs> yeah, that omen smoke on the side of Steven is actually looking to help out Falsy, but it didn't matter in the end as uh, he was the aim duel out from A main. Pretty tragic, but Boston University not out of it yet by any means. Looking to actually going for a different setup here. Actually, have option to have two people mid in the lone Sova on B. They have quick access via market. Actually, here comes the omen now through market. Revealing area is going to be an A approach from the side of Stevens. Omen watching mid will the rest approach through main. Smokes down. Right now it's the world versus Brimstone as they all come in. Brimstone unable to win that aim duel. And Phoenix is going to back out of that garden area as he waits for the rest of his team before they try to retake the site. Spike planted. Alright, here comes the retake attempt from Boston University. Door is down. Yeah, but fortunately that's going to be... A machine, a uh, submachine gun versus a pistol. Not the fairest fight in the world. 
And this is seeming borderline impossible here inside of uh, Boston uh. University, yeah. I think it's time to lick your wounds and dip. One oh, enemy remaining. But yeah, Gabriel's just going to be looking comes. to catch these exits as they mm -hmm. run out of sight. Nice one tap initially on the enemy omen, but all said and done, it is going to be 2 2 tied up here. Both teams not willing to back down even a little bit as they are 2 2 into the fourth round of this half. Both teams are going to be buying rifles, however, Ward is going to be on that op, and this whole series has been proven to be very strong on it, so we'll see how we were able to, to respond. Yep. Generally, Boston University going for the span approach again with two in mid. But it's going to be a mid rush coming out from them. Oh wow, immediately mowed down through the smoke Careful in his now. Feet, so unfortunately. If he had gotten the flash off, he actually had a chance to do a lot of work. But not meant to be. And unfortunately, they're going to lose open for free and dip on out. Omen from Stevens going all the way into the back corner of B. Let's see Over as they try to rotate. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna. Unfortunately, even the fact that Omen ulted is making things very scary for uh, Phoenix here. Open up the sky. Spike planted. Yep, trying to push in a little preemptively before his team's quite there, and another terrible move from Boston yeah, University. Yeah. It's one enemy remaining. Yep. It's probably. Uh, Phoenix is trying one before, but if that was him. I would definitely be trying to get out. Careful now. Triple baby. He's right now going for the one v five ace. Does not have to do a move. Yep. Good try. Gets three kills though, at least knocks him down a few econ eggs, but the round inevitably will be going to Stevens. Mid control really being the name of the game in this 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 uh this round so far as uh Stevens has been sending three plus people into that middle area every single round. So it's interesting to see if Boston University is able to respond to this as they they seem to be continuing with the split defense, so It looks like Stevens is going to be sending 3 through B. Yeah, overall, really. Nowhere! Who run? Bang to fit Valsia, though, and he's going to dodge the first of all. He's going to dodge the rest. Since the information is pretty minimal for that. He's going to spot the breach approach here coming out of main. Nowhere! Who run? The counter so ball coming out from the side of Boston University. See if they get any picks themselves. They're working with not much here. They're gonna get that kill actually with pistols to rifle. Smoke's They're down. gonna pick up the rifle for themselves, which is actually a pretty big deal. But health bars are quite low in Boston University. Both Brim and Silva being sub 25 or sub 38. Revealing area. Have a good job on them on being able to prevent them from being able to fully take that B site as they have to fully rotate. Right now it's only Cypher left to defend A. Spike planted. Yeah. Not only that, but even just grabbing the rifle, honestly, would be huge. But Fubi will fall, one of the few people with low HP bars. And there goes Falsy and... As the Lurch from Race able to pick up three. Yeah, it's a very doomed run. I'm not... I would stop trying to break the store, but man, I would knife out and run the other direction. It's... Okay, oh, well, he's got a rifle now. Where is everyone oh, wow. hiding? That's player committed to this round, opts to use his ult. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. You know he's... Uh, okay. Uh... Ooh, wow, look... That is the decision making that we hope not to see in these rounds, but yeah, it's a very questionable decision for sure. Very good aim, good execution, weird usage of abilities for sure. Definitely yeah. feel like Boston University previous games has been much more willing to let rounds go in order to save econ or to save st abilities, but for some reason this game they are like gas pedal forward trying all they can to make things happen bottom frag from boston university both bottom frags actually grabbing the ops see how this goes no. pretty important I and mean, he does get the kill getting them pretty huge for the side of boston university 
and now they can just kind of turtle and unfortunately the phoenix will fall trading one for one across the board cage triggered they know the rays v cypher is going on a site they're both actually fairly isolated here with with the rest of stevens lurking heavily in mid pushing the sova is actually going to be pushing up through main using one the down Ooh, excellent pick on the raise there. cage triggered hey, very big deal another cage trigger it does so look the looking like to go on a flank do. unable to find oh. anything as he's forced to back out yeah, seems gonna the make trigger. their way on to b and we're gonna see if the soba is gonna be able to stay alive oh, before his teammates can get here whiffing the sonar arrow yeah you should run so many like so much sloppiness coming up from Boston University it really feels like And unfortunately, Sova is gonna get the remaining. kill here. 30 seconds he does left. get the kill. Perfect. Not gonna get the same kill. And they are able to find the Sova. The 3k coming up from the bottom frag of Boston University with a turnaround. Definitely looking good for that off, going from 1 and 6 to 4 to 6 in one round. And overall, a really good comeback round after starting 2 0 and dropping 4 straight. Reversing the momentum. It's gonna be interesting to see how Steven to react. I doubt any of them are going to be peaking mid unless it's op v op. Actually, it looks like they're hovering their own Sova in mid, but actually, Boss University is not even gonna be opping down mid. They're grabbing their op and he's taking them over to Cat over here, trying to go for the uh, tiles angle. See if he can grab Joke's anything. Joke's over! Going to be there, You're though, dead! We already know. We know that they actually are three mid and two coming down main here. They found my wire. Lots of the tripwires have been killed. Bowman opting for the early rotate out of cat, which is gonna give seems free reign over oh, mid. Your feet! Yep, here comes. Yep. Sorry, the breach all is going to stun everyone on site. Not gonna get the no way push it run. fast enough though. The off shot is not holding true here. Three straight misses. Spike planted. And stunned up. Uh, uh, also, unable to find the shock dart he was uh, looking for. Uh, the Thistle is looking kind of uh, rusty. We'll, we'll use the word rusty. Between the uh, dart last round and both shock darts here missing completely. Yeah. Definitely not what you were hoping to originally see. Well, we are going to see picks from each of the remaining school. members of Boston University. Area. Uh, however, time is running out before they're able to get this. Stick, and I think if you're Gabriel at this point, you might be looking to save that op. I think you're saving the op for sure here. The odds you're able to kick at both these kills and the DPs with an op is quite low. Definitely disappointing. Generally, the name of the game is Boston University just does not look clean on these with their utility. Very sloppy usage, generally speaking, and just a lot of wasting. So I think the aim isn't necessarily the issue. It just really feels like execution all over the place is so sloppy. Especially on the Sova, specifically. It makes me question why they opted to swap uh, Stain and Falsium, being uh, yeah. Phoenix and Sova respectively, when it worked for them in Game 1. Mm -hmm. It definitely feels like the Falsia is being is much more of a uh, duelist here, more so than g gathering his intel. And it just doesn't look comfortable. Looks much better on the Jet or the Phoenix, respectively, in his previous two games. Cypher looking to take an early duel this raise. Delete. And he finds really the kill. Great trigger discipline, not shooting early there, even though he saw the piece. <sighs> oh, but unfortunately, he's going to immediately trade it back because he's, he's assuming that the top angle is going to be coming down on him. And once again, Boston University giving up that control of mid for free as they have two people holding an angle there on the side of Stevens. Definitely, this mid, mid control has been non existent for Boston University outside of some opening op shots. Definitely a weird angle to be taken. Shadows traveling. Weird approach, rather. So, patiently Staying see the patience. Staying waiting for them to come in. Here. With the enemy omen heard him drop there, so he's going to be a little bit slower and more careful in checking his corners. However, it seems like him and the Boston University omen have set up a crossfire. Yep. Here we go. The omen's pushing. Uh, not going to close. Just barely missing the headshots, and that is going to be numbers advantage for the side of Stevens University. 30 Ruby seconds left. It back up with a quick kill on the breach, and it is Stevens kind of is going to be looking to the plant on planet. Falcia is going to Spike lose his as well, and it's going to be to Fubi and Gabriel to retake this 
a B site with an op and a spectre respectively. You really hit the Definitely seal on the side. The you really hit the seal on the One side. One enemy remaining. And once again, you're saving the op. Like, not really an option. Yeah, it's not a winnable fight. Oh no. Oh no. This is... This is an Alexa play Despacito moment for sure. <laughs> it's it's getting rough. Like, it, it feels like Boss the University is just collapsing completely. Like, they, they, nothing seems to be going their way anymore. Since the 3k off round, it's just been nothing but downhill. But rebuying the op, using all their money. Boston University has completely forced here on all their money, basically. Losing this round would be catastrophic, basically almost surrendering the rest of the half. So, really need to see a win come out here. Play initially. Gonna actually get lit up a bit here by some spray and break smokes. But nothing substantial other than a little tickle. No healing on the in the game at all as well for the omen, so he's gonna be stick sticking on that fifty-eight for the time being. Smokes down! But a generally slow approach coming from Stevens, widespread completely. Almost every man for himself with this push in. So it's gonna come down to some quick duels. Ward is gonna get the kill on Fubi. Not a good look at all. And you gotta just hope that some of these duels do go the way of Boston University soon. Found them. Otherwise, this push is gonna be devastating. Yep, the B site is theirs. Boston University actually has three people in spawn, completely conceding the objective, or the uh, site rather. And yep, this is borderline doomed. Falcia's crosshair Spike is in planted. the middle of nowhere. He was blinded, unfortunately. And this looks uh, like round number 10 in a row. So. Uh, one enemy remaining. Oh, <sighs> yeah, this is this is rough. Really, I almost want to see Boston University go for an aggressive play because this way when you're giving all, letting when you're letting the whew, sorry when you're letting Stevens do all the dictation of the pace, he seems to be playing into their comfort. I would love to see like Phoenix come over here at uh, A main and maybe swing aggressively on him. See if you can catch him a bit off guard. Cause I actually he's gonna everywhere. be looking to maybe swing out of. Uh, he's gonna be looking to swing out of. Blah, blah, blah. Cover yeah. going out. Yep, he is. Fortunately. First pick does go for the side of Stevens onto the Cypher. Here comes the Owl. He's not gonna spot the go. but he's gonna peek and get off the immediately by one. One LA remaining. And yep, it's gonna it's it's it is what it is. It's another round going to the side of Stevens. Unless this man is gonna hit four Deagle headshots in a row, I'm pretty confident in saying that. Yeah. Uh, luckily, even when bringing two guys into mid and start of the round we saw with uh, Gabriel and the Cypher seems we're able to win their 50-50 angles as they probably had four people watching mid from two different angles. Boston University just looks completely lost, especially on Ascent, which Last is round in the half. slightly defender's favorite. It's a pretty even map as far as they come, but it's not... Look, it's not good to be down potentially 9-3. Boston University currently on... How much money do they have for this round? Like, can they even buy anything above, like, Bulldog? Yeah, Bulldog Light Armor coming out for the Phoenix. That's the most depressing fat buy I've ever seen. Yeah, nothing at all. Uh, Guardian and Ares and AK, a Bulldog and a Spectre. Nowhere yeah. to run! Fire yeah. Nipple! No charges. Yeah. Nowhere to run! You should uh. run. Let go. Site so is going to be owned by Stevens. Oh, if you're the other, uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Good, actually good pick from Gabriel. Pick. Really clean pick there, actually. Also negating all you Spike room. planted. Result? I know okay. exactly where you are. that central is going to kinda tell them what they already knew to be honest. One LA yeah. Yep, 
slow peeking the op is not gonna be it. Three killed. Real bad here for. Cover going gonna out. To... There we go. He's gonna smoke off the back here. He could also ult for information, but it looks like his time is. One enemy remaining. Get him. It's he's facing one v one against the op. He's gonna give it a tap. Gets zoned off by the molly. Good try, but the ghost will reign true, and that's gonna be a 9-3 lead for Stevens going into the second half. Switching sides. Definitely not the scenario you were hoping to be in as Boston University. Facing a six round differential, you really need to come out of the gate swinging here. I think your this pistol round is gonna be a must win, followed by a, a, a strong buy into a snowball. Um, looks like they're gonna be opting for the B site here. I hope to see a quick push in come, especially since you're probably assuming that the Killjoy's on A site, which she is. So I think you come out super aggressive here, see what you can make happen, and just hope your shots hit. Brim's gonna be looking for the quick smokes. Actually gonna look to peak mid, it would appear. In slash, uh, cat. Ray's actually gonna be going for the no hot here. feelings. All right, each gonna get a one tap. Gabriel is gonna be pushing it through mid on the flank. Shock Dark gonna do a little bit of jumping. And all said and done, it is gonna be a one enemy remaining. Oh wow. Uh, okay. If Cipher can get this clutch, it would be huge. One enemy remaining. Oh. Gets the 3k, almost putting on the carry shoes, but not quite. And yeah, the coordination only starting to feel that desperation. It does feel like the team is extremely uncoordinated with their calls. It does not feel like people are on the same page. Even they, they pretty much knew where that Silva was, yet they still died on the swing to him. Definitely. Even looking at these players, they look a little tilted, kind of like. It's just how they're even moving around in base, I don't know. Watch and learn. You gotta hope, hope they can pull up their mentals to try to focus in, but as it stands now, definitely rough. Oh no. Gabriel will fall to a marshal. And the marshal is just raining down on him. Another kill's gonna fall. And Boston University staring down the five deficit. Gonna get Marshall headshot once again, and they're absolutely trapped. One player remaining. Dink, but it's not enough, and that's gonna be a flawless for the side of Stevens. Boston University, after starting 2-0, has dropped 11 of the last 12 rounds, and they do not appear to be very close to taking one anytime soon. Close to being, of course, the pistol round with the cipher pop off. See what they've got up their sleeves. They're just going for a spurt. Uh, they're going mid. Looks like yeah, they're just gonna peek mid. Stealing sight. I'm gonna actually knock away breach with their blinds. Trade blinds a bit. General strategy. The position. Get a smoke off mid here. Kind of playing, playing things really slow, and here comes the flank. Booby is gonna clean up two though. Numbers of minutes to Boston University, four to three. Winning their firefights for the first time in a couple rounds. There we go. Cleaning up another kill. Careful now. Huh. Four to two. They own the A site, but it's only. Uh. The, the Phoenix is in here currently, the rest are kind of still pandering mid, and we're back down to a 2v2. Both getting picked off swiftly. They know now that both are on A site though, so they have a free plant on B. Let's see if... Definitely 30 seconds left. to rotate out here from... Uh, Spike Stevens. planted. They do know that this is coming, for sure, yet still opting to play its slow. One rotating through mid, and one still currently sitting in heaven at A. Now finally leaving, coming downstairs. Gabriel, Gabriel ready to catch lurking. this rotate? Yep, he hears him coming. This seems to be a free one round. Enemy yep. Easy cleanup. That's the 
Yep, and there we go. Fox University taking one player remaining. This the blast oh, okay. pack from the Rays. Ubi's gonna get caught by that. Ubi is putting on a clinic on how to troll after the round's over multiple times today. Now dying twice to bomb and now once to a blast pack on the wall. Especially in a game that's this you're this core and it's this tight. He's now lost like full guns three times. Definitely a even though he's top fracking, a pretty weak showing in terms of uh, awareness. awareness. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> awareness, yeah. Definitely just pointing. Let's see if they they got their first round underneath them though. They're gonna need to go on a run sooner rather than later. They're leaving Gabriel over here to lurk. He's gonna miss the jump. Revealing areas. Okay, they're gonna lose their cipher here. Really struggling with these engagements. They're gonna keep up. Uh, gonna One enemy remaining. On the site of B, leaving the lurk, the, the solo A man himself, Mr. Gabriel, to fight for his life, but it does not seem like he has much to fight for other than his econ. Generally, here he comes. Oh no. Ah. Uh, it's gonna be match point here for the side of Steven. Match Game point! Three here in a sense. And yeah. It's a nice knife we're looking at though. Tired out. Very nice knife. So, Boston University is kind of on their swan Tired song out. right now. They've gotta go for all the plays they could possibly go for. I would love to see. Something, I'd like to see aggression to be honest. I think I still think Stevens enjoys this more slower play style. Joke's yes. over! You're dead! Camera team. It does out. require that you win gunfights, of course, and you play aggressive, but uh. if you're not gonna win gunfights now, I'm a little surprised that this Phoenix didn't Oh he was on his ult, never mind. I thought he didn't have ult. I'm, I'm actually trolling. He does get some aggression in with his ult there, gets the bullets. The breach, there we go. The wall headshot. We're going for some fights. Gonna actually get tons of bullets on him in the fight the round does look like it's only in the favor of Boston University a 4 to 2 I know advantage. exactly up some guns. gonna even burn the side of the confirm it yep and then they know where the final person is and they're just gonna decide oh. to come over here and A uh turret okay almost falling to the turret because the knife was out but his Spike comrade planted. will keep him alive Yep, and attackers and cleans it up. They're gonna get the plant money as well. And they're gonna start their miracle run from here. They're gonna need to win seven straight to force overtime. Which has been done multiple times in the series by very each team, so seven straight wins is not unheard of, Mr. Kwan. No, not unheard of by any means at all. Let's see if the terrors have the comeback in them. Mm -hmm. About to have Omen Alt up off of one kill as well. Omenol on this map can be really strong because no one's really covering the spawn area often. Shadows it's very popular to catch rotates. Most people are really favoring this uh, tiles area. they almost every round up to this point, actually. Cover going on. I mean, it's the same thing that really Steven's used against them, so. Yeah. Tiles has definitely been their home. I thought they have, an, they have a certain it's control over wire. mid with four players in there right now. Time against the flash and mowed down immediately by Breach, giving numbers advantage over two Stevens, but they are raised is quite lit, looking at about 40 HP, give or take. And it's up to Boston University to get these picks back. There's the smoke, the brim smoke coming down. Looking for this pick is not gonna hit his shots. Yep, very tragic as he even holding that angle for the entire round. Eager's advantage strikes again, and it really is up. Boston University really does need to get these picks. Thirty seconds left. Oh, what? Cover uh, going out here. He will get the kill. One Two LA really low well health bars and a simultaneously Defenders they win. And the match and series will go to Stevens University.